Welcome to Economics for Students. Now we will explain circular flow of income in three sector model and circular flow of income in four sector model. Already we know the nature of circular flow of income by looking into the primary flows of income between households and firms. Payment for factor services goes from business to households and payment for goods and services goes from household to business. Now we include the government sector to the two sector model and it will become three sector model in circular flow of income. The government imposes taxes on households and firms. Therefore, part of household's income flows to the government in the form of taxes. Same way, taxes flow from firms to the government. The government spends the money collected through taxes to discharge various functions in the economy, such as administration, law and order, buying goods and services, etc. So, income flows from government to household and to firms in the form of government expenditure. Tax constitutes leakage from flow of income. On the other hand, government expenditure is injection in the flow. So in three sector model, there are two leakages, tax going to the government and savings going to the capital market. And there are two injections, government expenditure and investment. So far, the circular flow of income has been discussed in case of closed economy where there is no foreign trade. Actual economy is an open economy where foreign trade plays an important role. So we include the rest of the world sector. The four sector model comprising of household, business, government and rest of the world. Here we show only money flow to avoid crowding in the diagram. Interaction between domestic economy and the rest of the world takes place through flow of goods and services. Therefore, there is outflow of money from domestic to foreign sector to pay for the imported goods. On the other hand, there is inflow of money by exporting domestic products to the rest of the world.